I must say the last 24 hours have been quite emotional and at the same time overwhelming. And upon my retirement in 1996, after 20 years of Major League Baseball, there was one other team in uniform that I wanted to put on, and that was this one. I was a little more optimistic this year. Uh, you know, you can't be too certain uh, because uh, right now, you know, Burt Blylevin is not a Hall of Famer. Uh, but with that in mind, I, I felt because there was no one in front of me to hurdle, uh, I, after 67 percent last year and knowing that there never has been a year where no one went in and the only possible first ballot guy would be maybe Roberto Alomar. Uh, I, had, I was a little bit more optimistic. My mother never uh, got, to saw me, got to see me play a game in person uh, for fear that I would get hurt uh, while she was in attendance. And she went through me during the early years of the, um, the Hall of Fame process and she told me, you know, just to stay faithful uh, that it's, it's, it's in inevitable, it's going to eventually happen, and be ready when it happens. And I just wanted to, to thank her yesterday. I, I went to her gravesite, I prayed, I uh, thanked her for the job that she did as a mother, father, and a big sister to me. She probably was, you know, my best friend. And it was an emotional, emotional period for me. My grandmother's gravesite wasn't that far away. And another uncle of mine who played with the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates AA organization. And, you know, I just said my thank yous and, and how much and, and shared how much I loved them and uh, the influence that they had in my life.